Hey everybody, welcome back to Jake in Japan. So today I'm going to try something a little new. Uh, I went to a spicy ramen shop and uh, recorded me and my friend eating some spicy ramen. Um, but unfortunately I didn't have a third person and it was kind of my first time uh, doing this kind of thing. So I mean I've learned a lot just from doing it this first time but I, I should have brought something to prop up the camera into a little better position and uh, I should have taken a little bit more stable uh, shots when I was messing around but you know next time we'll have a better quality video for you um, this was a kind of a challenge that I wanted to do um, there is a place in Takatsuki called Ichihana and they do uh, spicy ramen so spicy ramen here is they they do it in levels so there's like different tiers level 3 spicy ramen and level 1 hell ramen are uh, about the same. They're like the entry level, oh, this is really spicy, you probably shouldn't eat it, ramens. And if you eat either of those, you get your picture posted in a, like a blog, and you get like either a chocolate or an ice cream after as like a little reward, like, yeah, you did it. Um, but this place is actually really, really spicy, and I, I kind of like how if you look at my face in the beginning of this video and near the end, it's much, much redder. Um, but anyways, yeah, this place, uh, they have level 3, 4, and 5 spicy ramens, which I did. And then I did those maybe two years ago. And then uh, this time I wanted to try level 2 hell ramen. And that's the second spiciest thing in their shop. The spiciest one is level 3 hell ramen. She said that is so thick that it's like curry. Um, so I'm not really looking forward to that, but I do want to go back and try that. Um, this place was actually really challenging for me. The first two or three times I went. Uh, my buddy is gonna actually try my ramen here, it looks like. He wanted to try a little bit of the soup because he got the hell one level and apparently it's pretty big difference. He said um, it's much, much spicier. He actually had very little trouble with his hell one. Uh, he is actually quite a champ at eating spicy food. I went to a place with him called Gu uh, Guillotine and Guillotine their specialty is some um, spicy chauhan, which is fried rice. And the chauhan is actually pretty good tasting. It has like little bits of pork or something in it. In it. But it's just, uh, they, they put ghost peppers in it. So the one I ate with him, we split one. It was the second spiciest in the shop. Um, and it has, I don't know how many ghost peppers. I think the spiciest thing there has a hundred ground up ghost peppers in this tiny little bowl. And when they're cooking it, it's just like burning your lungs. Like everybody in the restaurant's coughing and tearing up. And even the waitress, not the waitress, but the cook who's making the food is like wearing a mask to protect yourself. So that place is just crazy spicy. Last time we went there, I almost freaking died. But I want to eventually try and eat that for you guys. And uh, I will bring a better cameraman <laughs> at that time so that you can see me crying and sweating because I will definitely do that. Um, but anyways, he, he ate it like with very little problem. So this was like completely easy for him. I don't think he even really broke a sweat during this. Um, I, I, on the other hand, I was having some trouble, uh, with my hell too. Uh, I was able to finish it. It wasn't, there was never a time where I was like, oh man, I don't know if I can finish this, but it was, it was definitely really spicy. Uh, we asked the lady what she puts in this and she said there's like 13 different kinds of peppers in there and I think she doesn't really give you like super spicy peppers like she said there's not even habanero or anything in there so honestly I think like the Scoville heat unit ranking for like this food is not that high I think it's just an overwhelming amount of it like you could see this just pile of peppers that she put in there before she like did it. It filled like a good portion of the bowl before she even put in any soup or ramen or anything. So, yeah. Um, if you ever want to try this place, it's in Takatsuki. I think it's it's about halfway between Osaka and Kyoto. Uh, on the I forget which line, but uh, you, you can go there from Osaka Station. Uh, JR line, that's what it is, and you just head down and it's actually pretty close to the station, like a five minute walk or something. Uh, 
And if you eat their spicy ramen, you can go and get some, you know, she'll take your picture and you can write a comment and you'll be on their, on their wall or whatever. Not their wall, but their website. Um, <coughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to cut forward to the point where uh, I, you know, finish the poll and you can see there it's pretty empty. I mean, I finished the whole thing, but get a nice little ice cream and a pat on the back, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry for the shitty camera work. I'll try and take a better better video in the future next time I go out. But, uh, I'll see you guys later.